Morning, everybody. Uh, firstly, big welcome to the new subscribers. I see there's been a nice little uptake in the channel over the last few days. Welcome. Hope you enjoy the content. If you dislike the content or something I do, feature, etc., here, then uh, please let me know. Drop a comment. Say to me, hey, voiceover is too loud. Replay suck, etc. Now, continuing this week's theme of uh, really close matches on Northern Lights, and today, no, uh, there will be no battleships going down the 910 line. Um, featuring my good friend He Man in his Shukaku, he's uh, divved up with uh, two other players from THG, the Humble Guys clan, one in his North Carolina. Um, that is, I did it for the lols. Yes, that's his. Uh, Username, and then later on I will point out on the enemy team there's another team member or a player with I think his name was it's a bag of nuts or a bag of squirrel nuts I mean <laughs> where are the people getting these usernames anyway um, and then a third member with a talent it's uh, a seven to eight match nice um, a nice lineup here for uh, He Man and. Yeah, I'll see some mistakes being made. But, he's taking these torpedo bombers, lining up in the Potomi, and uh, scores two nice torpedo hits, some more spotting damage, and that poor Potomi, 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 however you want to pronounce it, is now less, about a third of his health. He's got enough planes left, so he goes for a torpedo run on Grizzia, but Grizzia sees it coming, and I think he's going to turn out in time. The interesting thing here is, I saw He-Man not pre-dropped send his squads back. And uh, when I spoke to him on Discord regarding this one play, he said to me, now, the way he plays his Shikako, he has more than enough planes, he doesn't need to pre-drop all the time. Um, also, ah, and he gets another torpedo hit there. So that's a good start. You can see there, I did it for the lols in the North Carolina. <laughs> oh, and then Fatal Commander with his Talon. So they run a division together. And there's an anchorage. So somebody has opened his wallet and decided, ah, no, screw it, I'm not doing this to him directors. Now, tr trust me, I'm thinking of that at the moment, because I noticed uh, I finished the first three, there's three more directives, and I noticed that if you complete it with doubloons, then you get research points for the other ten. And I'm at 53,000 research points, I can get the Siegfried, I don't want the Siegfried, I want either the Slava or the Ohio. Um, and I'm about 10,000 research points short, and this will give me, I think, 6,000 research points, which will be a, a good, nice, good little haul. So he man does a drop on the Queen Elizabeth, and it gets a torpedo protection hit. Ah, oh, bad luck. And there's that Carizia again. <laughs> Interesting using the battleship. Constitution. <laughs> oh, you guys sent me the best replays. Oh, and he gets an overpenetration and he doesn't get the kill. Fatal Commander in his talent does finish the the Gorizia though. As the division that he's with. Did it for the lols and Fatal Commander is pushing quite strong. The poor anchorage oh, um, in the smoke there is gotten so melted the Dallas there is uh, turning back Dallas is a great ship at tier 6 uh, I've kept that entire line um, I really enjoy the Dallas uh, when I think it was ranked sprint oh his fatal commander and his talent pops that Johnny that was torpedoed earlier come on fatal stop killing stuff so fast I can't comment enough so the Queen Elizabeth has now isolated himself a little bit from the AA cloud. And the four torpedoes are on the way. He man only gets one hit as their team loses their first ship. Now, and we'll see in the chat, 
Yeah, just letting them walk up this side of the map, and you'll notice that gap that I said battleships should cover, should go through. Yeah, their their ship is pushing through, and there's a whole cluster on the almost beeline of He-Man's team doing good knows what. Heavens knows what. And it gets a nice torpedo run in on the Queen Elizabeth again. QE manages to turn. And one of the things to remember is if you look at how uh, ahead that is the claws is pushed in North Carolina. Sometimes as a CV player, you're not trying to do a torpedo run. You could be on Discord and you could be talking to the guys and that Queen Elizabeth could be running away from the North Carolina. And you could be saying, alright, I'll torpedo him, see if I can turn him. Because if he's only showing his turn and you need a better angle to shoot him and the torpedo bomber comes and runs in, oof, as uh, He-Man's team loses an Ioba and he scores a nice torpedo hit, finally. Anyway, as I was saying before that happened, the ship turns away from the aircraft torpedoes, exposes more decent broadsides, and then allows the rest of the, uh, the division to actually shoot at him. Uh, so that's why sometimes torpedo runs come from a certain angle. Yeah, bit of a 200 IQ move there. So the Belfast finishes us off that uh, Queen Elizabeth battleship. The Parseval is coming for Debbie for the Lols in North Carolina. And Graf Spee is all on his own. And did it for the Lols in the North Carolina, finishes off the Graf Spee. So they've done a significant push there on the western side, while the east side is just holding that cluster. Looks like Baltimore, Turpets. Uh, I can't make out in the map what else is there. And there's a lone Scharnhorst finding himself in the cap circle. Uh, along with an Algerie. Algerie's got some nasty AA. <laughs> One of the players on the team types in the comments, It would be a shame if our BBs took a hit at all. Took him on hits. He-Man gets a massive penetration on the Sean Horse, two Citadels. Ooh. That Sean Horse has lost a significant amount of his health. Let's see if he's lucky again. Nope. Unfortunately not. It's just beside it. And this shit talk in the chat continues. <laughs> oh, as he man checks the map, sees the developments, and uh, adjusts accordingly. <clears throat> now, to reinforce that clusterfuck that's happening up north, I see Fatal Commander in his Talon has turned to the east. He's not pushing with the North Carolina. North Carolina's brimming with AA anyway. Um, as he man does a flight over the mountain, takes the scenic route. Ladies and gentlemen, on your left we will see a Baltimore. Goes in, Baltimore has some serious, serious AA. Baltimore's pushing forward, let's see if he's lucky with us to get our eats. He continues straight on. And remember that Sean Horst. Belfast finishes off the Baltimore. And then Kutuzov finishes off the shores. And he gets an incapacitation on a torpedo. And keep an eye on that Kutuzov from Snark Jericho. That guy played very, very well. So it looks like He Man's team is in the lead here. Um, but they're having to defend their cap points. They are not gaining any cap points because there's an enemy ship. Uh, if you go back to my Mogami video of about a week or two ago, where I did exactly the same thing. We were on equal ships in the end, two of us remaining, enemy, I think it was North Carolina chasing me. But 
I denied them a points gain for more than 30 seconds and that was enough to buy us, to win us the game. E-Man's coming in with the bombs on the Sharon Horse again as they lose the Dallas. Ooh, three citadels on that Sean Horst. He's living on a prayer there. Hippers anti-aircraft is obviously adding quite a bit. As the Sean Horst is trying to heal up, but citadel heals can't be citadel hits can't be healed up that well. The anchorage takes care of the interprets. And unfortunately, there is a mess. He man grabs some torpedo bombers again, sets out. <laughs> and there it is. Squirrel's bag of nuts. Done playing North Carolina. I got a base defend. <laughs> so, did it for the lols out there by the islands, distracting them. Oh, the possible. That was scroll back. Scroll back to the Nazis, the enemy CV player. And uh, he meant to was a torpedo hit. He does the slot trick over. Continues on to the possible. And the Kutuzovs killed the Colorado. Two torpedo hits on the possible. And unfortunately, the points are relatively even. Uh, difference of five points, and that is they're on the same ships, but remember, they denied the gaining of points in the green cap for a good for a good while. And this push on horse is getting attacked again. Another citadel takes another nasty hit. And that Sean Horse really is on a prayer as uh, He Man takes his rocket planes out, speed boosts. Only 2,000 hit points left on the Sean Horse. Boom. Seven hits, Sean Horse dead. There's the hipper that's been providing AA bubble. Hipper's down to 3,000 hit points. Can He Man get it? Boom! Second kill. Enemy cruiser destroyed. And He Man quickly put his team in the lead. Now, did it for the lols is pushing the enemy possible. Um, while Fatal Commander unfortunately dies to that Kutuzov defending the base. And the enemy CV scrolls back of nuts. Dude, great name. Great name. Is under full attack by the division that he mans in North Carolina and uh, the Shokaku. Anchorage gets the killing blow on the possible. And uh, did it for the lols, is now heading for the cap. Unfortunately, the enemy New Orleans uh, kills the Bayern, and they are 4 to 3. So, he Himan's team is still in the lead here, but will it be enough? Well, this is Northern Lights, and this is the week of idiot players and strange outcomes. Now, we haven't seen many idiot players this game, apart from the team all huddling here. Uh, by the cap circle, but there's not a single person that we can uh, point out. What we can say is, they m yeah, that is Northern Lights. That's all I'm gonna leave here. So, He Man gets one defender driven, four rockets, and a fire on that New Orleans. You'll start noticing though that his squadrons are running fairly low. On this one took off, there was only five planes. 
out of a possible 10. Doesn't matter this late in the game. Does it matter with a Shikaku? Somebody tell me in the comments, please. So both caps are being turned. He man's team is ahead. Battle ends in five minutes. And there's that New Orleans, but there's a Colorado close by as well. Oh, and that Kutuzov gets Confederate as he kills the Anchorage. Three all. And it is very, very close on points. Fortunately, New Orleans is coming out of the torpedo with the massive massive amount of AA and the half strength squadron. Human drops torpedoes, hopes for a wing and a prayer to hit. There's a Gnaiz now firing into the enemy um, into the enemy team that is now in the friendly cap. The biggest problem is uh, Kutuzov I think has smoked up. And did it for the lols types reset. Hey, lols, seriously, you think E-Man's trying to do here, man? Rocket plane, two defended ribbons, 11 penetrations and another fire. I think that fire should stick for a while. The... Uh, the previous fire might have damage controlled and so many times don't get hit for goodness sake and that, this was a bit of a mistake i think looking back on the match that did it for the lols did he should have gone dark in the north carolina let them focus this guys and how because they were just ahead on being able to cap the base but fortunately the kutuzov is seeing him and resetting all the time the north carolina is such a big target it's not difficult to miss He man manages to score a citadel there on a Kutuzov. He's also used his brain and he's moved his carrier into the into the enemy base to try and cap it to add additional cap points. Um, but the biggest thing is that it for the lols is getting hit by the shells all the time in East North Carolina. As you see the perfect sample there. Poker's nice now here had to pull back, he's only on ten thousand HP and tanking against New Orleans. Kutuzov and Colorado is difficult. And there's not Jericho in the Kutuzov and the red team gets his high caliber. He's already had the Confederate. And like I said earlier, he had a fantastic game. And you know what? One has to commend your other players on the other side if they play well without being total douchebags. So the Orleans starts turning again. Will he man get a torpedo? torpedo hit on him doesn't look like it and you can start sensing the urgency in there the, towards the end of this game there's only a minute 32 left here and they keep getting reset unfortunately They're all focusing on the Gnaiz now. Gnaiz now. Gnaiz now. It's an easy kill. It's not Jericho. Pops out. Not the cap circle though. And he gets his Kraken unleashed. Did it for the lols. Gets his confederate. Because he kept firing. And where I personally believe he should have stayed. And then Squirrel's bag of nuts is finally gone. And that's the North Carolina. <clears throat> biggest problem with this is now the enemy team is 100 points ahead is only that can is now and he-man and Ishikaku left versus Kutuzov, New Orleans and a Colorado so even if he turns if he doesn't turn the base in time <clears throat> they lose 
as I start getting a frog in my throat. And you'll notice the time counting down. They can't see him. See if he's got relatively decent concealment. But as the time counts down, three, two, one, boom. I paused it right on the last frame because He Man didn't send me the after screenshot. I paused it on the last frame. As the timer ran to zero, there were 2.4 seconds left in capturing the base and they would have won. 2.4 seconds between a win and a loss. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, I uh, hope you enjoyed this replay. Hope you learned from it. Hope everybody has a fantastic week and a weekend. It is Friday here. And uh, yeah, we'll speak to you soon. Take care. Cheers.